Here is how to record a video using Yuja, Bridgewater College's screen capture and video recording software platform. First, you're going to want to navigate to Yuja. The URL will be bridgewater.video.yuja.com. From there, it will prompt you to do a single sign-on through Bridgewater College on the top right-hand side. When you log in, it will prompt you to use your BC email address in which you will see this dashboard here. Here are videos from the college shared on EnterpriseTube or the college's channel. Your personal items will be here on the left-hand side. My Media is where all videos that you create will be stored. Shared with me is any videos that other people have shared with you. Favorites is anything that you favorite and shared with others will be videos that you allow others permission to see or access. To create a recording in Yuja, go to the top under the search bar and hit create recording. If you record from your PC or Mac, that will automatically open Yuja's software uh, and use your built-in PC or Mac settings. The easiest way to record with Yuja is to record with their browser capture studio, which will be on your desktop browser instead of in their software application. Title your video. My Yuja test will be the title of my video today and then click start. Here it will show you different screen recording options, audio options and video options. If you want just the camera for you talking, make sure you just have camera highlighted here. If you want both screen recording and camera, specify the settings of what screen you want to allow Yuja to record and then share it. Make sure that Yuja has access and permissions to your microphone, camera, and screen recording sharing settings. If you share uh, screen recording settings, that will be under your browser application settings under the permissions tab on your computer instead of Yuja itself. Then what you want to do is click start recording. When you start recording, the Capsule Studio will look a little bit like this. When you end the recording, you will have the option to upload the video to your browser or discard it. If you are happy with your video, press upload and it will take a few minutes to process. Now we will close out of the browser capture studio and you can see that my Yuja test, the video we just created, is being processed in the My Media browser. This may take a few minutes, so it requires some patience. So now we have our video recording uploaded here in Yuja. We will get to editing that as soon as we uh, go over how to record using uh, the application software. So if you haven't downloaded the software yet and you would like to use it, click download to install here. When you download and install it, you're going to want to put it in your applications folder and then find the Bridgewater College organization upon launching it. When you do that, it'll prompt you to do a single sign-on login with your Bridgewater College email address and then it will ask you for permissions to use the camera, microphone, and screen recording. You will need to enable those permissions in your computer's system settings in order to give it access to record. So say record from your Windows PC or Mac instead of the browser capture studio and then press start. It will take you to Yuja's software capture here Hello, <laughs> uh, and you will want to edit your settings depending on uh, what cameras, microphones, and if you want to do screen recording, and then make sure that live is set to no because you are not doing a live broadcast. So for video, I'm just using my um, computer's camera. If you have any phones or webcams, you can connect them here. Then for audio, I'm going to click the default, which is my computer's microphone. Uh, you can also use a second source mic to improve your audio if you have a phone or something that would connect to it. 
Then for screen source, you're going to have to go to advanced settings, and then you're going to have to click on which monitor you would like to display if you have an external monitor. So I'm going to say the single primary display and save that. You're going to click this start button here. And then it'll give you um, a countdown to when you start recording. Note that, again, it's not going to show what you look like, even if you're using your uh, camera. And you're going to have to end the video here. And of course, you can pause it if you'd like to pause, navigate to something else, uh, and then navigate away. But I'm going to click Finish. Then it'll let you know that your recording session has ended. And then you can delete the recording that you just got if you don't think it's good, or you can save it. And when you save it, it will show up in the My Media tab of your uh, browser on yuja.com instead of in the Yuja application. So you always have to navigate to the browser to view that video. So again, it takes a while um, for it to show up here, but you're just gonna want to refresh to see any new recordings that you made. I'm going to show you how to edit in uh, Yuja's Manage Media. When it launches the video editor, it is pretty rudimentary. So you have a couple options here. This is going to show you the waveform. Uh, this is for looking at the volume of your recording, um, primary and secondary. So one of these will be the screen that you've recorded, and then the other will be video. You can superimpose uh, images, documents, or anything else if you are doing a presentation onto a segment of the video file. You can also add closed captioning uh, for ADA compliance um, for the hearing impaired here. Uh, and then you can also trim the video or add text on top of your video. These are the limited editing um, software applications of Yuja. Then, of course, at the end, you're going to want to either save or discard it, and it will save to your My Media folder here. And that is how to use Yuja.